Four million tons of eel snake their way across the world each year, bound for sizzling grills and glistening sushi platters. Slippery, fragile, and notoriously hard to handle, they demand extreme care. Some twist and writhe in oxygenated tanks, others are frozen in an instant to lock in perfection. Their demand fuels fortunes and crime. Smugglers, farmers, and high-tech shippers all battle for control. Every shipment is a gamble, every eel a prize, and the race never stops. Beneath the surface of muddy rivers and shifting tides, thousands of nearly invisible glass eels pulse through the water, their bodies no thicker than a strand of spaghetti. They drift for months, carried by unseen forces, searching for freshwater streams where they can grow. But before they reach safety, nets cut through the water. Under the cover of night, fishermen haul them ashore by the thousands, each no bigger than a matchstick, yet worth a fortune. These delicate creatures, barely strong enough to fight against the current, become part of a trade so vast that entire economies depend on their survival. What happens next is a race against time. These creatures are incredibly sensitive. Too much handling, too little oxygen, or even the wrong temperature can turn them into nothing more than lifeless husks. Packed by the thousands into water-filled bags infused with pure oxygen, they are sealed, stacked in insulated crates, and rushed to airports. In less than 24 hours, they will cross continents, arriving at massive aquaculture farms in China, Japan, Taiwan, and parts of Europe. The demand is insatiable, and the stakes are high. Every shipment lost means thousands, sometimes millions, in financial damage. Inside these farms, glass seals are released into vast, carefully controlled tanks, where they will grow for months or even years. Their surroundings are meticulously engineered to mimic the wild, yet every element is designed for efficiency. The water is kept at the perfect temperature to accelerate growth. Feeding schedules are precise, delivering the exact balance of protein and nutrients to develop firm, flavorful flesh. Farmers monitor them constantly, watching for signs of stress or disease. Each eel represents an investment and no detail is left to chance yet growing them is only half the battle. Before they are sent to markets, they must undergo a final transformation. Eels are notorious for their muddy, earthy taste if harvested too soon. To eliminate this, they are placed in fast-flowing, purified water for days, a process known as purging. Without food, they instinctively cleanse themselves, flushing impurities from their system. When the process is complete, their flesh becomes rich, clean, and highly desirable. Only then are they ready for the next step. The challenge now is transport. Some will be sold live, requiring extreme care. These eels must be handled gently, placed in specialized breathable containers, or transported in tanks equipped with oxygen pumps. If the temperature fluctuates too much, they can panic, thrashing violently, tangling together in a writhing mass that can lead to suffocation. To prevent this, they are often sedated, kept in a chilled, almost hypnotic state, their metabolism slowed to a near standstill. Everything is designed to keep them calm, minimizing movement, stress, and injury. Others will be shipped fresh, requiring speed and precision. The moment they are harvested, they are stunned, cleaned, and packed in ice. Timing is everything, too slow and the flesh turns soft and unusable. In high-end markets, especially in Japan, eels are often processed live to ensure the highest quality. In bustling seafood stalls, skilled vendors slice them open with expert hands, removing the spine in one fluid motion before grilling them over open flames. Every movement is honed by centuries of tradition, ensuring the perfect balance of smoky, sweet, and savory flavors. Frozen eel transport is a race against time and temperature. The moment an eel is processed, it must be flash frozen at temperatures colder than the Arctic to prevent ice crystals from damaging its delicate flesh. Liquid nitrogen or high-pressure freezing locks in freshness within seconds, preserving the texture that chefs demand. Vacuum-sealed packaging eliminates exposure to air, preventing freezer burn that could turn premium cuts into wasted shipments. These advancements have pushed eel beyond traditional markets, making it possible to serve high-quality unagi in places where fresh supply chains would never survive. From their capture in wild rivers to carefully managed farms, Every step is dictated by precision and urgency. Yet beyond the controlled environments of aquaculture, an undercurrent of danger and controversy shapes this trade. Regulations, black market operations, and shifting demand create an industry where legal and illegal supply lines blur. 
The next stage of their passage is filled with obstacles, where the fight to control this valuable commodity is as intense as the measures taken to keep them alive. Moving eels across the world is an operation filled with risk, precision, and constant obstacles. Unlike other seafood, they do not tolerate careless handling. Whether writhing in water tanks or packed in ice, they demand near-perfect conditions. One mistake, too little oxygen, a sudden temperature spike, a delay at customs, and an entire shipment is lost. Every transport method carries its own dangers, each one requiring strict control to prevent disaster. Few creatures are as difficult to transport as live eels. Tightly packed in specialized containers, they are moved by truck, plane, or cargo ship. But even the best conditions can fail them. If oxygen levels drop too low, they suffocate. If temperatures rise, they thrash violently, twisting into knots that can crush weaker individuals. Worse, a stressed eel releases ammonia, slowly poisoning itself and everything around it. To stop this chain reaction, they are often kept in an induced state of hibernation chilled just enough to slow their metabolism, but not kill them. Even with these precautions, a single delay at an airport or customs checkpoint can destroy an entire shipment worth millions. Customs inspections add another layer of unpredictability. Because eel populations are under strict environmental regulations, officials frequently examine shipments to verify their legality. Certain species, like the European eel, are heavily restricted under CITES, an international treaty protecting endangered wildlife. Any discrepancy in paperwork, any misidentified species can lead to immediate seizure. For legitimate traders, this means added costs and the constant pressure of compliance. But for smugglers, it is an opportunity. Black market networks thrive on this trade. Smugglers move live glass eels across borders in suitcases filled with water or disguised as other seafood. These eels, often worth thousands per kilogram, are funneled into illegal farms, bypassing quotas and conservation efforts. Authorities struggle to keep up. Despite crackdowns, hidden supply chains continue to operate, feeding the demand of markets willing to pay for these prized creatures. For fresh and frozen transport, the challenges are different, but just as demanding. Fresh eel must arrive quickly, packed in ice to maintain the perfect texture. Too cold and the flesh freezes, ruining its delicate consistency. Too warm and spoilage begins within hours. Logistics teams coordinate flights, cold storage facilities, and delivery routes with surgical precision. In Japan, where eel is a delicacy, shipments are timed down to the hour, ensuring the freshest cuts make it to high-end restaurants without a moment wasted. Frozen eel offers more flexibility but still requires strict handling. Modern freezing techniques lock in quality, but any temperature fluctuation along the supply chain can lead to ice crystal formation, damaging the meat. Shipping containers are equipped with advanced refrigeration, but in some regions, power failures or mechanical failures can render an entire cargo useless. Even at the final destination, improper thawing can undo all previous efforts, turning what was once a premium product into something unmarketable. Beyond logistics, demand itself creates instability. Seasonal surges, especially in Asia, drive up prices and intensify competition. During Japan's midsummer tradition of eating grilled eel, prices skyrocket and supply chains operate at maximum capacity. Fishermen, traders, and transporters all work against the clock, knowing that even minor disruptions can lead to shortages and financial losses. Despite all these challenges, the industry continues to adapt. New methods, technologies, and policies are constantly being tested to keep up with demand while navigating legal and environmental pressures. But innovation alone is not enough. The industry must balance profit, sustainability, and survival in a world where eel populations are under growing threat. Eel transport has long been a delicate operation, but today technology and innovation are reshaping every stage of the process. As demand grows and environmental concerns increase, the industry is turning to new methods to improve survival rates, reduce waste, and ensure quality. Every detail from how eels are farmed to the way they are shipped across continents is being re-engineered to balance efficiency with sustainability. Keeping live eels in perfect condition is one of the most difficult challenges in seafood transport. Traditional methods rely on oxygenated plastic bags or large tanks filled with water, but both come with risks. If the oxygen levels drop too low, the eels suffocate. If the temperature rises, they panic, tangling together in a mass that can cause injury and death 
To counter this, advanced transport containers have been developed, equipped with real-time monitoring systems that track oxygen levels, water temperature, and ammonia buildup. These smart tanks adjust conditions automatically, preventing sudden changes that could harm the eels. By keeping them in a stable, low-stress environment, survival rates increase dramatically, reducing financial losses for suppliers. Another approach is the use of controlled sedation. Instead of relying solely on chilling to slow their metabolism, some transporters use mild sedatives that keep eels calm without harming their health. This prevents excessive movement, which can lead to injury and exhaustion during transit. Research is ongoing to refine these methods, ensuring that sedation does not affect the quality of the meat upon arrival. For fresh shipments, maintaining the perfect balance between cold storage and moisture retention is essential. Eels must be kept at a precise temperature to prevent spoilage without freezing the delicate flesh. Modern cold chain logistics rely on refrigerated trucks, warehouses, and air cargo facilities designed to keep temperatures stable throughout the entire route. Any fluctuation, even for a short period, can alter the texture of the meat, making it less desirable in premium markets. To address this, high-end suppliers now use temperature-controlled gel packs that provide more consistent cooling than traditional ice. These packs maintain the ideal conditions without the risk of water contamination from melting ice. Freezing technology has also advanced significantly. In the past, frozen eel often lost its firm texture due to the formation of large ice crystals that damaged the muscle fibers. Today, flash freezing techniques using liquid nitrogen or ultra-low temperature systems lock in freshness almost instantly. By bringing the temperature down in a matter of seconds, these methods prevent cellular damage, preserving the eel's natural firmness and flavor. Vacuum sealing has further improved the process, eliminating exposure to air and reducing the risk of freezer burn. This ensures that even months after freezing, the product remains almost indistinguishable from fresh-caught eel. Beyond transportation, the industry is also evolving in the way eels are farmed. Traditional eel farming relies on capturing wild glass eels and raising them in controlled environments, but this practice puts significant pressure on natural populations. With some species classified as endangered, researchers have been searching for a way to breed eels entirely in captivity. Unlike many fish, eels do not reproduce easily in artificial settings. Their life cycle involves complex migrations and hormonal changes that are difficult to replicate in tanks. However, some breakthroughs have been made with scientists successfully inducing eels to spawn using precise environmental controls and specialized diets. Although still in its early stages, this research could eventually eliminate the need for wild-caught juveniles, making eel farming more sustainable. Water filtration technology is also transforming aquaculture. Traditional eel farms require constant water changes to prevent waste buildup and disease, but new recirculating aquaculture systems RAS, are reducing water usage while maintaining optimal conditions. These systems continuously filter and purify water, removing toxins while keeping oxygen levels stable. By creating a closed-loop environment, they not only improve eel health but also minimize environmental impact, reducing pollution in surrounding ecosystems. Tracking and transparency have become major priorities in the eel trade. With increasing regulations to prevent overfishing and illegal smuggling, supply chains are under intense scrutiny. Blockchain technology is being introduced to provide a secure, verifiable record of each shipment, ensuring that only legally sourced eels enter the market. Each stage of the supply chain, from capture or farming to processing and transport, is recorded in a digital ledger that cannot be altered. This system allows buyers to trace the origin of their eel, verifying that it was sourced legally and sustainably. Internet-connected sensors are also being integrated into shipping containers, providing real-time data on storage conditions. These devices send alerts if temperatures fluctuate, if oxygen levels drop, or if handling conditions deviate from the ideal standards. In some cases, artificial intelligence is being used to analyze this data, predicting potential issues before they become serious problems. This level of precision reduces losses, improves quality control, and ensures that eels arrive at their destination in peak condition. Consumer demand is also driving change. As awareness of sustainability issues grows, many high-end restaurants and seafood suppliers are looking for alternatives to wild-caught eel. One emerging solution is cellular agriculture, the same technology used to produce lab-grown meat. Scientists are experimenting with growing eel meat from cultured cells, replicating its texture and flavor without requiring live fish. 
Although this technology is not yet commercially available, it represents a potential future where eel can be enjoyed without depleting natural populations. Evolving supply chains, technological breakthroughs and changing consumer expectations are reshaping an industry that has operated for centuries. From high-tech farming techniques to precision-controlled transport, every step is being refined to meet the demands of a modern market. While challenges remain, the innovations shaping the eel trade are ensuring that this prized delicacy can continue reaching global markets with greater efficiency, quality and sustainability than ever before. Every shipment carries risk. A delay at customs, a sudden shift in temperature or a mistake in handling can mean total loss. Yet the trade continues to expand, adapting to new challenges. Smarter transport, stricter tracking and cutting-edge aquaculture are reshaping the way eels reach global markets. Millions of tons are shipped each year, destined for sushi counters, open flame grills and some of the most prized dishes in the world. The next time an eel is sliced open at a sushi counter or grilled to perfection over glowing coals, consider what it took to get there. The hidden struggles. The midnight fishing raids, the smuggled glass eels, the cutting-edge transport systems that keep them alive across oceans, every bite carries the weight of an industry built on precision, secrecy, and survival. Few creatures travel so far, pass through so many hands, or command such fierce demand, and still, the world wants more.